The contraction of a skeletal muscle is the result of the activity of groups of muscle cells called motor units. The size and number of motor units being stimulated is an important factor in determining the strength of a contraction. Your goals for learning are to examine the components of a motor unit, to understand the relationship of motor unit size and precision of muscle movement, to explore the relationship of motor units to muscle tone. Here's what you need to know. The events occurring at the neuromuscular junction, the definition of a motor neuron. To review the events occurring at the neuromuscular junction, click the link button. If you use a link button, you can return to the page you started from by clicking the return button. To see definitions of terms, click the bold red words. A motor neuron and all of the muscle cells it stimulates is called a motor unit. Two motor neurons coming from the spinal cord are shown emerging from a spinal nerve. Each neuron branches, forming neuromuscular junctions with several muscle cells. Click neuron A or B to see each motor unit acting independently of each other. Did you? Now let's look at the phenomenon of recruitment. When a strong contraction is needed, the nervous system may cause more than one motor unit to be stimulated. The stimulation of additional motor units for increased strength of contraction is called recruitment. Click the interneuron in the spinal cord to see recruitment of motor units A and B. Click neuron A or B to see individual motor units being stimulated. What is the advantage of having only a few muscle cells per motor unit? Click the correct answer. In addition to the number of motor units firing, the number of cells per motor unit is an important variable affecting the strength and degree of muscle movement. Small motor units, containing few muscle cells, are found where precise movements are needed, as in the muscles of the eye. Click once on a motor nerve to see the precise movement of the eye muscles. Click again to see further movement. Large muscles exhibiting gross movements, such as movements of the thigh, have large motor units in which a single neuron is connected to a large number of muscle cells. Click once on the nerve to see the gross movement of the quadriceps muscle. Click again to see further movement. Even in a muscle's relaxed state, random asynchronous motor unit contractions provide a nearly constant state of low-level tension and resistance to stretch, called muscle tone. These minute contractions are maintained by activities of the spinal cord and result in a firmness of the muscle. What do you think will happen to the muscle if the motor nerve is cut or damaged? Choose the correct answer. Correct. Without nerve stimulation, the muscle loses its tone, as we'll see in the demonstration on the next page. If the motor nerve connecting the spinal cord to a muscle is cut or damaged, the muscle loses all tone and becomes flaccid. Click the scalpel to cut the nerve and see the effect on the muscle.
Did you notice the increase in the muscle's length? This indicates that until the nerve was cut, it was stimulating the muscle at a low level, producing minute contractions of random motor units. As the nerve was cut, the muscle briefly contracted because of nerve impulses generated by the injury. The muscle then lost all tension and was stretched by the weight. To repeat this demo, click the nerve and then click the scalpel. Here's a summary of what we've covered. A motor unit is composed of a single motor neuron and all of the muscle cells it stimulates. The number of muscle cells within a motor unit determines the degree of movement when that motor unit is stimulated. Motor units vary in size. Small motor units are used for precise small movements. Large motor units are used for gross movements. Muscle tone is maintained by an asynchronous stimulation of random motor units. To test your knowledge, click the quiz button to go to the self-quiz.